Normally, you need a car, see a car, buy a car. Lordstown Motors wants a different approach, but doing so would require a change in Ohio law. I looked into that issue today. Lordstown Motors hopes to change the way people think about electric vehicles. That includes how people buy them. It's simple. EV sales are not like traditional car sales. LMC wants to sell directly to its fleet customers, who buy in batches. It feels they're most interested in projecting the cost over a five to ten year period. The whole economic model of the you know, total cost of ownership is, is how fleets buy, and that's kind of how we're driving our, uh, our business uh, model. Ohio uses a franchise system. No auto manufacturers are allowed to get a dealer's license. Tesla got one prior to making cars and was allowed to keep it. Dealers believe consumers benefit from price competition and with other help they provide. You know, especially on service and warranty uh, issues, uh, the, the dealer becomes the consumer's advocate. The Takata airbag situation is one of the issues recently that dealers share when explaining the difference. This new carve out in Ohio law would only be for Lordstown Motors. The genesis behind it is Ohio Build, Ohio Strong, Ohio Endurance. Uh, they are the company that's making EVs in Ohio, and that's what this piece of legislation is intended for, Lordstown Motors. The Ohio Automobile Dealers Association disagrees with the go-to-market strategy that Lordstown is employing, but is excited about development in the Mahoning Valley. You know, we want to see that company thrive much the way that Honda and Chrysler and Ford and General Motors all do uh, in Ohio with franchise dealers. At least 20 states allow electrical vehicles to manufacturers to sell directly to consumers, but over half of America does not.